<laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop. In case you didn't put it together by the, the little monologue intro there, today we are going over the T6-1000 by Fluke. In case you guys are wondering why I'm so jazzed up about this thing, because the previous version of this meter, the T5-1000, has been, up until this point, my absolute number one favorite go-to piece of electrical testing equipment. There are so many awesome things about the T5. The T6, just like, you know, put that cherry on top. People in the industry had questions, had comments, had concerns, had input, and Fluke listened. They took one of their best, favoritest multimeters and made it even better because they listened to us. So. We might as well just get into this thing and go over why I think this is one of the best darn things that you could ever have in your toolbox. So let's go ahead and just get right down to it. The Fluke T6-1000, arguably the best thing that you can have in your pocket for electrical diag. The packaging is what you expect. There's not much to it. And just so you know, there are several iterations of this particular meter. There is the T6-1000, and then there's the T6 Pro. There are differences. This is the T6-1000. You can tell here because it has this ground contact on the back. We will get to that. But the reason I am so amped up about this thing is because they took all of the awesome stuff from T5 and just made it even better. One of the biggest and most notable things about the change from the T5 to the T6 is this. We have a backlit screen. I know it's not obvious right now because it's bright here in the shop, but if you are in a dimly lit manufacturing area, mill, plant, whatever, this makes a huge difference. And that was probably the biggest thing that was lacking on the T5 is that there was no backlight on the screen. Now that is just the tip of the iceberg whenever it comes to improvements here on the T6. The next biggest thing that I can point out here is the fork area. They have literally doubled the size of this thing so you can get a larger conductor in here. And you may be thinking to yourself, how big of a deal is that? Well, that is absolutely huge because now we have the ability to read up to 200 amps AC. And in order to get that amount of power through a conductor, that is a big wire. And the T5 was really lacking in capacity here in the fork. Probably the biggest and most notable change that they have made to the T6 is this guy right here called Field Sense. So in case you're asking yourself, what is Field Sense? Because that's a good question. Field Sense is something developed and implemented by Fluke that allows you to wirelessly check amperage and voltage. That's right, I said wirelessly check voltage. That is a new thing. Well, keep in mind, this isn't exactly new anymore. This has, has been around for a minute, but this is still an absolute game changer. If you're a Sparky or a Millwright or just a regular old maintenance technician and you're checking stuff on the fly, this thing is an absolute game changer. Just so you guys can get a little bit of scope of comparison here, this guy is my tried and true T5-1000. And you can tell that this thing has been through the ringer. I believe I bought this in 2012, 2013, and this guy has been absolutely everywhere with me. Up until the point I acquired this little beauty, this thing has been my go-to. I absolutely love this thing. But like I mentioned, some of the features that they upgraded from here to here, take a look at the fork location up top. That is a notable difference. And believe me, whenever you're using this thing and relying on this thing for amp measurements, it makes a difference being able to get over that conductor. And like I mentioned earlier, the T5-1000 is lacking a backlit display. Not to mention, take a look at how much bigger the display is on the T6 because we have so much more information being displayed at one time. Now, a couple things that are the same between the T5 and the T6 is the ease and simplicity of the dial. You have a real nice snap into position detent dial with a limited, shall I say, functions. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yes, there is more that you can get out of a DMM, but this guy is supposed to be 
down and dirty and just what you need. And it is so easy to navigate and use these things because it gives you what you need. Voltage, amperage, and resistance. Continuity test with a tone. Like it's super easy to use this thing, throw it in your pocket, and it gives you what you need when you need it. One of my favorite things about the T5 whenever I got this guy for the first time, the voltage is auto selecting between AC and DC. So you don't have to tell this meter like a traditional one, whether you're checking AC or DC, it automatically knows what the voltage is whenever the probes come in contact with it. That awesome function was carried over to the T6 because that is a beautiful function and I never wanted that to go away. That is just so nice, it takes the thinking out of it. Whenever you present this meter to something that you wanna test, it automatically knows what it is. So it takes that little bit of I might be wrong out of the equation. Another big thing that they have improved from the T5 to the T6 is the ohm reading. You see here the T5 is good up to 1000 ohms. Well, this guy is good up to 100,000 ohms. Because if you guys have ever dealt with bigger stuff like VFDs or capacitor banks or even just really large conductors and you're checking for voltage drop or resistance from one end to the other, sometimes 1000 ohms is not enough to get you that accurate reading. And this guy can be capped out and you will get one of those OFL, you know, sometimes that 1000 just isn't enough. So they really jacked it up on this guy. So not only do we have a higher capacity for the amperage reading, but they really jacked up the ohm capacity. And another function that's available on the T6 that was not available on the T5 is this yellow button here that's not labeled. If you press and hold it, we now have the ability to read and measure Hertz. Now here in the States, we operate at about 60 and that's about what you're gonna run into unless you're doing VFDs or other stuff like that. But our friends across the pond, they have a different power source and things are different. So it's nice that we have the ability to read and measure that. Now this guy here on the back that I told you we would come back to, this ground contact, this is what allows that field sense to work. Whenever you're holding this thing and doing your measurements, you place your index finger, well, any one of your digits there, place it on here, and it uses the resistance of your body as the ground reference. Because if you guys are familiar with DMMs, all this thing is, is it measures potential difference between one probe to the other. So the way that we're able to wirelessly measure voltage, we have to have a ground or a zero reference. Whenever we touch this thing, we effectively ground the meter and we are now the zero reference so we can actually get a voltage reading without touching anything. Now, if you take a look way up inside there where the ground probe parks, you see how there is a conductive surface at the top of that? That is connected to this ground contact. So if for whatever reason you cannot use this function, whether you have gloves, or you know, you're in a wet environment, or for whatever reason, you're just not comfortable with doing this. You can remove the ground probe, you know, put an alligator clip on here, do whatever you need to do, but as long as this guy is grounded, the field sense functionality will work in here so you can still wirelessly check voltage. Now that we've gone over what I feel to be the key functions and straight up awesomeness of this thing, let's go ahead and do a couple function tests so you guys can actually see how this thing works. Now, before we actually start testing, there's one more cool little thing that I forgot to mention. The probes on the T5 series meters are different, and it's awesome for a reason. Take a look here at how they're not round like traditional probes. They are flat or oval, if you will. That's for a reason. It's for us down and dirty electrical dyad guys that need to check outlets and if you know the shape of an outlet the prongs need to be this shape to fit into them traditional probes are just regular round i mean this is fine but if you're regularly checking outlets this can kind of be a bear this is a perfect example of where this comes into play let's just say that i need to check this outlet to make sure that we got juice here now these probes fit perfectly into the slots of the outlet I don't have to fight and try to jam a round probe into the socket because these are made for that. They just work great. Now you guys saw there on that just cute little example, 
this is a perfect way just to check voltage normally. So this thing still does have the regular functionality. We just have a lot more extra awesome stuff. And of course, no good meter would be complete without a good continuity function. And this thing honestly is my favorite one for doing these simple tests. Because of the simple sleek shape of this thing, you kind of, it's, it's easy to hold this between your head and your shoulder, just like a phone. I know these younger kids don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but back in the day, it was super common just to tilt your head and hold a phone in your shoulder all day. Well, if you're working in a loud manufacturing environment in a mill or a plant, chances are you're not going to be able to hear this cute little... I mean, yes, it's plenty loud in a situation like this one you can actually hear, but if you're standing right next to a, like a thousand ton press or something that's slamming metal parts all day, you're never going to hear that and both of your hands are busy, you're checking stuff, this and that, you may not be able to see the screen. So the point that you can put this in your shoulder and hold it right up against your ear, it's really nice. I love that functionality, and that's one of my favorite parts about this thing. So now that we've gone over the, dare I say, basic stuff, let's get into the goodies and see what this field sense is all about. Okay, so like I briefly went over earlier, if you want to use this thing in field sense for the wireless application, which is the point, right? You need to make sure that your probes are parked into the location where they're supposed to go in the back. The ground goes on the left side, your hot one goes on the right side. There's a sticker here that tells you where they go, you can't mess it up. And that's the side that the wire comes out of. So honestly, it's difficult to do that incorrectly. I mean, you can, I mean, let's be honest, you can mess up anything, but just remember, Black on the left, red on the right. So the black probe indexes with that conductive surface up inside of there and connects with this contact area where you put your finger. Now, in order to do this field sense voltage thing, obviously, you know, you need to have some kind of exposed conductor and not even exposed. You just need to have a conductor that you can get this thing around. Now, you cannot go over an extension cord like this because alternating current, you know, you have the hot leg and the neutral, they balance each other out. So you're going to get a zero reading anyway. So we need to have either one of those splitters or something like this little beauty that I made for myself for doing these kinds of tests. So this little beauty right here, I made purely out of necessity, and it has been a lifesaver ever since. Now, don't let the looks fool you. I mean, th this thing is not UL certified whatsoever. This is for testing purposes only. Well, that being said, I mean, this basically is just a chunk of extension cord. I had a damaged cord. I took the female end, whacked off the bad part, put a male end on the other side, and gave myself a short little test lead here. And I exposed all three of the 10 gauge conductors in the middle of it. This gives me the ability to check all three wires on a single phase extension cord. So I can measure now voltage and amperage on the line, the neutral and the ground. For doing electrical diagnostics, this is freaking awesome. Because if you have a ground fault condition or you know one of those ghost neutrals where your stuff's just going crazy, you can now monitor all three of them. Unlike one of those plug-in horseshoe looking things where you're only monitoring the line. And not to mention, those have like coils in them. So you have to do like that minus times 10 or whatever it is. I don't know. But either way, you have to do math to get the right number. With this, whatever you measure is it. So I know this may not be the best solution, but man, this thing has been an absolute like life changer for me. So to use the field sense to measure voltage, which like I mentioned earlier, is a huge game changer because traditionally, we could only do current wirelessly. Now, with this guy and the ability to be our own ground reference, we can now check voltage wirelessly. Just make sure that you have the selector dial on field sense, have something plugged into a source. Like, look at this, it's not even doing any work. Like there is no current running through this right now, but you can tell it's on by the LED in the plug. We have our selector set to field sense, Put your little thingy on the contact back there. Choose a line. Look at that. 128, 129 volts AC. And 
you see how we have a zero amperage? It's because it's not doing any work. There's no current going through this conductor right now. Now, just for sake of reference, so you guys can see what I'm talking about, we'll go back and put the probes in the outlet and compare and contrast that to the measurement that we're getting with field sense. Go ahead and turn the meter back to its voltage selection. Throw the probes in the outlet. And looky there, it's not exactly the same, but we're within a couple volts. So for doing down and dirty field testing, this is going to tell you whether you have 120, 240, 480, 600. This is awesome. Now let's go back to field sense and plug something into that little adapter so you guys can see how we can monitor current and voltage at the same time. We'll go ahead and throw our probes back into the location in the back because they have to be there for field sense. Plug in my little whip plug adapter thingy here and let's grab something to plug into it. All right, how about a heat gun? That ought to do just fine, huh? Plug this guy in, turn her on and see what we got. Go ahead and flick on the heat gun here. Make sure that we have it field sense and our probes parked. Put our finger on the back. Look at that. 120 volts AC and 5.5 amps. And we are doing this completely wirelessly. Now, if I remove my finger from that contact in the back, I lose my voltage because we no longer have a zero reference. Put my finger back, now we get our voltage reading again. Now let me turn this thing off so you guys can hear me better. Another thing to keep in mind whenever we're using the field sense functionality here is you cannot, well you should not, touch the conductor that you're reading with your other hand. Because the way that this is working is it's taking the magnetic field or the flux around the conductor because this is AC. That's why this works. This does not work with DC. But if you interrupt that magnetic field or flux around the conductor, it drastically affects your readings. So if I were to touch the black wire here, you see how we dropped five, six volts right there? I let go, it goes back to where it is. So keep in mind, this can drastically affect your readings. So if you do this, just make sure the only thing that's touching the conductor is the meter. And another cool thing that I believe that I forgot to touch on is that we still have the hold function here. So you hit that button, we can come away from what we were doing, not touching anything, and it retains the last reading that was on the screen of the meter. That's a really nice function, just in case you're somewhere that you can't see the screen, all you gotta do is feel, hit the button, bring it back to some place where you can read it. Now, since we're here and playing, we might as well check out the Hertz functionality that comes with the field sense option. Make sure that the dial is in the field sense selection. Have your probes parked in the location. Put a finger on the contact. We go over the conductor that we're trying to read. So there you go, we have our voltage reading. We simply press this yellow button. Look at that, 60 Hertz, that simple. There's so much more stuff that's available on this thing than the T5. And another cool thing about the T6 that they carried over from the T5 is the fact that the battery door back here, it's captured with a Phillips head screw and inside there is just two AA batteries. That's what runs this guy. Now, there are pluses and minuses to regular batteries versus rechargeable. However, myself and I feel like a lot of other people would agree it's something like this, and honestly, even flashlights to a certain point. If this thing is dead, if I pull it out of my toolbox and it's dead or whatever, I don't necessarily have the time or maybe not even the ability to charge something like this. I just want to be able to throw a couple double A's in it and get back to work. Now, I know, yeah, there are pluses and minuses to rechargeable and everything, but for something like this, I grab this, I just need it to work. And in the case of a rechargeable battery, if it's dead, you're up the creek. You know, so I honestly love the fact that they kept the simplicity of just regular batteries in this thing. So you just keep a couple extra in your toolbox. You know, you need them, you throw it in. I love it. Now, since we're looking at the back here, there's one more awesome thing that I forgot to show you guys. Now, you guys take a gander here at the back of the T5. You see here where the slot is, it goes right into the battery door. That's it. Okay, fine and dandy. However, on the T6, they thought ahead. Look at this. We now have an opening 
for a magnetic hanging strap. I cannot tell you how awesome this is. So it really does give you that hands-free operation. So you can hang this thing up against the wall, you know, clip that onto a cabinet or whatever, and then you can use both of your hands for both of the probes. Not to mention for hands-free operation, another cool thing about the T-Series meters is that you can put a probe in the top of it. So whenever you're checking volts or whatever you're doing, you can hold a probe and the meter in one hand and then just touch different stuff with the other. That way you have this good to go. I cannot explain to you guys how awesome this T-Series fluke is. And whenever you're done, all ready to wrap up, snap everything in the back where it goes, throw your leads over that guy, and this thing fits perfectly right in your back pocket. So it's with you all of the time. It's, oh, I know I sound like a broken record, but oof, they really broke the mold with this one. So guys, I think I did a decent job of going over the majority of the awesome functions and improvements from the T5 to the T6. This thing, I, I know I've said it, it is a game changer. Because of how much I relied and used my T5, this thing just made that same meter so much better. I mean, this thing is a skosh bigger, just a wee little bit. But honestly, it's... It, you don't know, really. I mean, it fits good in the hand. It feels good. It's robust. It's rugged. I mean, that T5, I've beat the living dog crap out of that thing. I mean, I've dropped it off overhead cranes out of JLGs off the roof of buildings. I've dropped it into a condenser fan on an air conditioner. It's just these things take a licking and keep on ticking. And just the ease and functionality of it. Like I mentioned earlier, the limited functionality of the dial selector on the front, you know, it's, I like that because a traditional DMM, you know, the dial on the front, you got 6 million things to go through. And you know, this, all right, I'm a maintenance guy. I'm a field tech. I'm a mechanic or whatever. I need a meter and I need to check something. Is there voltage? Yes. Is there current running through that wire? Yes. I need to check a fuse. Is it good or bad? Yes. This thing does it and it does it well. And now the fact that we have a backlight on the screen. Oh, oh, oh. I cannot explain to you guys how much that makes a difference because that was my number one glaring fault about the T5. But I was willing to overlook it because of how fantastic that meter is. But now that we have a backlight on the screen, I mean, that alone would be worth the upgrade for me anyway, from the T5 to the T6 is just having a backlit screen. But now that they added all this other awesome stuff into it, dude, this field sense thing is so cool. That will speed up your preliminary diagnostics so much. Now that you don't actually have to tear apart an enclosure to actually check conductive surfaces with your probes just to get a voltage reading, as long as we can gain access to a conductor, and if you're in an industrial environment, not necessarily residential like this, like dealing with Romex or extension cords, but in an industrial environment, if you're digging inside of a panel, you know, there's just single conductors running everywhere, doing control voltage or, you know, wire leads running through a conduit or something. All you have to do is isolate one wire that you want to diagnose or check or read, put your finger on the thing here and just boop. Now... I immediately have a voltage reading, so I know that there's something going through that conductor. And the fact that we can display current and voltage at the same time on the same backlit screen, this is unreal. This is absolutely going to change how I do diagnostics in the field. And it is going to greatly increase the, improve the time in which I can do so. I cannot endorse this thing any more than I possibly already have. So if you guys do not have one of these things, or if this is a new thing to you, I cannot stress enough. Check out these Fluke T-Series meters. The T5 is still absolutely amazing. They have 600 volt versions and 1000 volt versions. Obviously the price changes between them. So there's a T5 600, T5 1000, and a T6 600, and a T6 1000. So if you're doing a little bit lower stuff where you know that you'll never encounter a thousand volts, cool. 
go ahead and grab the 600, save yourself a little bit of coin, but you're still getting the same amazing meter. But if you're like myself and your industrial environments all the day and you have no clue what you're going to run into, I strongly suggest the T6 1000. And not to mention, just having that overhead, knowing that this thing is capable of handling that makes me feel a little bit better. So guys, honestly, if you're interested, check out the links down in the description. I will include all kinds of crap down in there. I'll put this one at the top so it's easy to find. But these things are absolutely awesome. And I think this could be a huge improvement to your everyday carry in your toolboxes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review slash go over as much as I have. And make sure that you stick around. We got a lot more awesome offerings coming from Fluke. So this is, you know, man, <laughs> we're just getting started. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.